Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to T T E A minus 10 minutes with Shay, your favorite fractional chief operating officer. And that title just means I work inside of seven figure, multiple six figure and six figure businesses. I manage the team. I manage the business. I manage the problems. I do everything for the business growth and the business scale. Okay. So that's what I do. That's how I make my moolah. However, I have a mission and this mission is to help small business owners and entrepreneurs just like you, to stop spinning your wheels, okay? Make sense of your business so that it creates money and time freedom, okay? I want you to make that money and create time freedom. My freedom, good morning, looks like living and working my business from anywhere in the world. I started this journey in Belize. I lived in Mexico for three years. For the past year, I have been in Buenos Aires, Argentina. And guess what? I'm back in this quaint little beach town in Mexico, and I'll talk to you later about how you can join me, but that's what my freedom looks like. I want you to have freedom too, okay? I want you to have freedom too. Now, let me tell you something. I called this segment, and y'all are supposed to be helping, helping me name this segment. Y'all have said nothing, so we're going to keep rolling with it, okay? It is business value with a view. You see the pool? You see the city? Is, is that a view? <laughs> so it's business value with a view. It used to be business banter on the balcony and bonus at it. Mm, help me out again. Nobody said anything. I'm going to keep rolling with it till you give me something better. All right. But go ahead and share this out. We're about to get started with this transformational information that can change your business and add to your business growth. OK, because this week, y'all, this week we're talking about scale going from growth to scale, knowing exactly when you can scale your business, okay? It's a four-part series. Part one is today, okay? So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Where are my notes? I talk a lot about business growth, okay? I talk a lot about um, growth is just more, right? Growth can be more inventory. Growth can be more tech. It could be more team. It could be more clients, okay? Okay growth could be more problems, right? But scale is handling the capacity of growth with excellence. That's basically what scale is. That's my definition. So go ahead and quote me on that, okay? And so what growing pains can feel like is struggle, right? It can feel like a struggle to uh, keep up, loss of revenue, a bad reputation, okay? That's usually growing pain. But scaling typically allows for growing incrementally, okay, to exponentially with excellence. That's scale, all right? Now, we're going to talk about today four things, well, not today, this week. We're going to talk about one of them today and the other three for the rest of the week, but four things that let you know your business is ready for scale, all right? Now, I have some assumptions first, okay? Y'all love to skip over the simple foundational things, but you can't, but I have some assumptions. I assume, okay, that you already have a clear in, a clear vision and mission, okay, that aligns with the business growth that you want. I'm assuming that. I assume that you already have a strong brand identity and a great reputation out in these marketplace streets, okay? I assume that. Lastly, I assume that you have a solid understanding of your target market OK, and how to reach them effectively. Those are all the assumptions. You, so you need to have all that in place anyway. That's like the basics of business. That's your business foundation. When you skip over that, that's why you're hitting some walls and having problems with your growth. OK, so that's those are the assumptions. But the first thing that you need in your business to be ready for scale is processes and systems. OK, we can't skip over that. That's the first thing that you need. Processes and systems. Take that client journey, okay? And you know the, a simple client journey has five steps for a service-based business, okay? Um, how are people coming to awareness of you and your business? How do they then inquire about working with you in your business? How do you onboard them? How do you service them? And how do you offboard them, okay? Five simple steps for a service-based business. Now, you need systems and processes around each step, okay? But guess what else you need? You need systems and processes for how each step connects with 
the next step, okay? Systems and processes, repeatable processes. That means somebody else can come in and do what you do because it's documented, okay? That means that when it's time to take a step, you know exactly what to do and you do the same thing every time, okay? I call it the Big Mac method, okay? How do you make sure that the Big Mac is the same every time that you make it? Systems and processes, okay? Standard operating procedures. So around the client journey, but guess where else that you have um, processes? You have them in your internal, okay? Stuff that may or may not even touch clients. So that could be um, how you onboard team members, right? It could be how you introduce new technology. It definitely is how you know your numbers, okay? It's definitely your KPIs, your key performance indicators, which is how do you know things are working the way they're supposed to work? What's the check and balance? Key performance indicators. OK, so systems and processes are the first thing you need to have in your business to know if you're ready for scale. All right. Now, we're going to go over the next three things all this week. Now, I'm not telling you that you need one of these four things or a few of these four things. I'm telling you, you need all four things. So you need to check me out all week long to get all four things. OK, now, if you want to skip ahead. Go to the blog post, shakecannoncom forward slash scale, and you can skip ahead and see what the other three things are, but we're going to go over them all week long. Good morning, Shawana. Okay, all week long. But there are certain things you have to have in your business for it to be ready for scale. Just because you're growing does not mean that you're scaling or you're ready for scale. Okay, again, scale is growing and handling the capacity to grow with excellence. So if you're out here struggling, OK, if you're out here overwhelmed, if you're out here not understanding uh, how you're getting your revenue in, if you're out here doing things differently every time and not getting the same results, then guess what? You're not ready for scale. Your first step, create processes and systems. OK, we're going to be back tomorrow, 8 a.m. Eastern time to give you the next step. If you found this valuable, I want you to share this. Share it right now. OK, share it right now. Good morning. Good morning. OK, so. This is what I want you to do. Like, share, and comment. That way, other people can see it and get the value. I know that it's valuable to you, and I can keep taking my time to do this stuff and know that I'm not wasting your time. Now, I said I was in Mexico. You see how beautiful it is? You can join me in September. I am having a retreat. You can go to shaycannoncom forward slash retreat. Very easy, right? shaycannoncom forward slash retreat. Get you some details. It's five days get five fingers in four nights in a four star uh, accommodation. OK, five days, four nights. We have a welcome um, dinner the first day as you guys fly in. You get a welcome dinner. You get your retreat swag bag, all that good stuff. OK, and then I'm going to show you a little nightlife on the night that you come in if you're up for it. OK, then the next day, guess what? We're going to rinse off all of that stress from your family, from your business, from all the things, because we're going to have an all day beach day. OK, we're going to have cocktails, drinks, food all day long. We're going to beach and a pool. OK, great experience. Right. We're going to rinse that off because the theme of this retreat is rest and revenue. So we're going to get a lot of rest. OK, guess what? You absorb information better when you're well rested. Did you know that? And I'm going to make sure that you're not overwhelmed and you're not exhausted and you don't leave here exhausted. OK, and then once you have your beach day, the next day you'll be ready for your six figure day. That's the day when I take you. You and your business through my six-phase frame framework to get you to your first six figures, okay? And guess what? After we do the work, we're going to the spa because, of course, we need that rest, all right? The next day, you're going to have your makeup done professional. You're going to have a professional photo shoot on the rooftop, not my rooftop, but the rooftop of your four-star accommodations that has the Caribbean Sea in the background, okay? Then we're going to take to the strip, and I'm going, to tour, I'm going to take you on a tour of the strip where you can take pictures all along the way, and we're going to end the day with a uh, fire show on the beach. And then the following day, we're going to have your goodbye breakfast, bid you farewell, and safe travels, okay? You're going to leave with the framework for your first six figures, well-rested, so that you can get to work and get it done, all right? So, shaycannon.com forward slash retreat. Check it out. Uh, I even have a frequently asked questions section. But if you have any questions, DM your girl. It's okay. DM me. 
I, I'll answer all the questions, okay? You guys have a great day. I'll be right back here, 8 a.m. Um, Eastern time tomorrow. We're going to go over part two of when your business is ready for scale. Have a great day.